thousands of people across the country will be taking part in a new campaign by cancer research called Stand Up to Cancer. One of them is a toddler from Sussex who really has defied the odds. Her mother was told by doctors that the treatment mm -hmm. she'd received for cancer would destroy her chances of having another baby. So you can imagine her shock when she was told she was pregnant. Charlotte Wilkins has the story. She may be a little unsteady on her feet. <laughs> little Elaine Hinton is standing up to cancer. Her mother Beth found out she had a rare form of the disease when she was just 37. One moment she was fit and healthy, the next she was having chemotherapy. It's quite a hard thing to, um, to take on. Uh, and then obviously to tell your children. Whilst going through treatment, Beth was told by doctors that the drugs would make her infertile and she wouldn't be able to have any more children. But against the odds, she found out she was expecting a vein. I guess I didn't believe it. Um, I, it, it took me, well, it took me a long time to get used to that fact. Uh, and even to go to the doctor because everybody who had been there through my cancer in the med medical profession almost couldn't believe it. You know, even now, this week, I went for a checkup, and the doctors there are astounded that, that she's here, really, <laughs> which is lovely. <laughs> On Friday, Beth, Evane and her family will be joining others around the country to stand up to cancer for Cancer Research UK. Really important, A, to raise funds so that research can continue, um, because it's all about research, isn't it? Uh, the more money there is, the more research can be done, and, and so therefore the more people can be saved at the end of the day. Whether you choose to stand up for the day or in an unusual place, the money raised will be helping to fund research and save lives. Charlotte Wilkins, ICV News, Haywards Heath. Incredible family and a very worthwhile cause. Such a good cause, absolutely. Now, Simon's here.